Sonny. Chapter One: The Garlog. Garlog. I don't think I'll ever stop being amazed seeing such incredible pieces up close. One would certainly hope not. Uh, ah. Discovery for things. Okay. Mm -hmm. As near perfect as I've seen before. Between the deep and far bewed of her hair and the softness of the lips give more animal appearance. Mm. Her eyes focus their attention to something in the distance. Circling Mary's hair. What do you gentlemen think of this particular piece? Can it really be? To a layman, perhaps. I'm a no. Oh, Such eloquent and delicate work. Very observant. But that doesn't make it authentic. You know, even Michelangelo himself was an art forger in his early career. See if you can spot the telltale sign of a forgery. Okay. Huh. Ah. The face of a young Amanda Manasa. Man okay. So the words are going to say. Crackle. Crackling. Crackling. On. On the. Two bear, two bear. One more. Uh -huh. On a dress. The crackler is inconsistent across the painting. Surely a sign of a cheap imitation. Very impressive, detective. Unconvincing aging is one of the most common giveaways of a forgery, whether it be in the cracula, the smells of chemicals used to artificially age the painting, pigments that haven't dulled with age. Sometimes it's as simple as the materials used, just not existing at the time of painting. 
The trustees were quite excited by its arrival, but it didn't take me long to identify its faults. Quite the detective yourself, Mademoiselle Warbeck. Mademoiselle. Please, call me Evelyn. If there's one thing I've learned in the short time I've spent with the detective here, formalities and politeness are essential. They are a cornerstone of modern civilization and must be upheld. This city could benefit from more gentlemen like yourself. Now that the etiquette of our greetings has been decided, shall we finalize preparations? I was hoping you'd say that. The exhibition area needs to be secured. I wonder if you would be able to lock the remaining doors for me? And if you could tie this ribbon around the handles of the main door for me, I'll leave it outside. If securing the exhibition room is what Mademoiselle Warbeck requires, that is what shall be done. I'm sorry if you key here with a clacking sound. I don't know what that was going on. Master key, okay? Oh. The door lead to western room. Perhaps the master key will be of some use. Miss Warbeck did ask you to make it look pretty. One shall complete the task to the degree it is requested. Symmetry is the key, you see. Oh yes, I see. Everything is now ready for the arrival of the guests. I assume you have the list of guests? I am afraid not. It would usually be an essential part of my preparation. In fact, it perturbs me that there is something I did not have time to prepare for. Would you like me to find Miss Warbeck? There may still be some time to check the list. Look, there's Miss Farquhar. With Miss Babany. Seems that they became fast friends after the incident on the ship. Intriguing. Intriguing how? Speculation, monsieur. Nothing more. That head of yours is just constantly full of thoughts. Who's this? I have no idea, but she's sure to turn heads with such a fetching dress. I quite agree. And who is this dapper-looking gentleman? Mon Dieu! Wait a minute. Is that... Well, I never! Poirot, you devil! Forgive me. Where are my manners? Detective Poirot. Goodness, Monsieur Demir. Poirot is more than adequate for an old friend. He saves my family from near ruin, uncovers a murderous plan, and still has the modesty to not correct a buffoon like me. Allow me to introduce myself. Heavens. My manners appear to have been replaced by surprise and excitement. Forgive me. Monsieur Demir, this is Monsieur Arthur Hastings. You've got yourself a partner now. Well, any friend of Poirot's is surely a friend of mine. Monsieur Hastings has been kind enough to show me the sights of London. A more than adequate guide. I would take that. It's as often as a blue moon you see Poirot handing out approvals like that. And what is it you do, Mr. Demir? A previous field medic, Monsieur Demir now finds himself working for... With... Pardon. With his brother, doing most honorable charitable work all across London. Need I say more? Could everyone gather together for a photograph, please? Would you all move a bit closer together for me, please? 
I didn't realize we were going to be in the newspaper. Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just want the camera to get my best side. Okay, if everyone is ready. So, Puaro, what on earth are you doing here anyway? My orders were to see to the safe travel of the centerpiece of the exhibition, the Penitent Magdalene. Monsieur Hastings here travels with me covering any administrations and insurance requirements. Art protection? That's a bit beneath the great Hercule Poirot, isn't it? Especially protecting it from this lot. Perhaps you would be so kind as to introduce us. Ah, where's the fun in that? We have to make sure those... What's it you call them again? You are referring to my little grace... Little grey cells, yes! Ha, that's it. I've been playing a little game. I've been trying to find a painting to match each of the guests. At least the ones I'm acquainted with. I wondered, Puaro, do you think you can ascertain which paintings match which guests? Ah, oh, I can give you a little info, but you... Oops. Uh, tell me about... The woman in the gold dress. Miss Irene Courtsmile. She is one you'll want to keep your eye on in the future art scene. Born and raised on a rather affluent estate, she turned her back on her parents in her teens to start a new life in London as an artist. Uh... She's a very nice young lady. Really? Okay. Interested, are we? I was only making a comment on her nature. Nothing untoward, I can assure you. Or as we are all meant to refer to him as, the Honorable Reverend Horace Mountjoy. He's a man of the church. I'm not sure what else there is to say. If you're wanting to keep the lectures to a minimum, I'd avoid admitting to anything that would even be considered a sin. Tell me about we fine looking gentleman. Ah, Mortimer Aylesworth. If you've not heard of him, I'd get familiar with the name. Eton and Cambridge educated, he followed in his father's political footsteps and has already surpassed them. Tell me about a couple. Johann Christiansen and his glamorous wife, Betty Allen. Betty Allen, the actress? The very same. They've been here in London for a few years, although she still plays down her boldness for British society, even with her recently taking a new role in the theatre. She did not take his name in marriage? Allen is her maiden name. Works as her stage name, too. A lot snappier than Christiansen. And his employment? He's a partner for a private bank in London. He has told me what he actually does many times before. And many times, I forgot. You will no doubt already know our host, even in Warbeck. We have already made our acquaintance. Very pleasant, if not rather flustered by today's exhibition. That's everyone. Well, there's Mr. Hastings here. I'm sure we shall get to know each other better. And our mystery woman. Anastasia Babana. We met briefly while traversing the channel. Look at you, Poirot. Got a love interest of your own, huh? Monsieur Demir, must I remind you of why I am here? No. No need at all. <laughs> I know you're strictly business. Let's see what you can do there. And come back to me when you know enough about the guests to solve my little mystery. Hold on a minute.
Okay, um, let's talk to DV girls, ladies. Everything seems to be running smoothly. You've done a sterling job. Everything except for the bishop and the other trustee stooges. It was never going to be easy going up against them. All men of a certain age, not used to the idea of change. But they didn't get their way this time. And with my exhibit coming up, this place will finally have a showing they can be proud of. And the quality the museum deserves. Mademoiselle Cotte Smythe believes her upcoming exhibition will change the perspective of the trustees and the public. I get the feeling she enjoys the accolades and being the center of attention. Detective Poirot, you're looking much happier being on solid land. There was a moment when I thought that wretched sea would get the best of me. Well, I'm certainly glad it didn't. As am I. Please, do not allow me to disturb you, madame. Adieu. Okay. Um, let's talk to do so. Okay. Talk to this first person. Ah, oh, beautiful, isn't it? Not like the modern tripe Miss Warbeck insists on bringing into the museum. Oh, the Lord will not look fondly upon her choices. I would hope one's choice of art would not affect one's chances for a better afterlife. Let's hope not for her sake. Okay. Hmm. Let me see the model of uh, our social. So. So. Where the planets are all folding around the sun in the center. Incredible, isn't it? And to think we are all located on that one small planet. Revolving around an all-encompassing star. <laughs> oh, to think of all the suffering. I give what I can to charity, but what this country needs is someone willing to put the poor first. Okay. Mm. I can't see the couple. Oh, there they are. I'm well aware of where we are. I just want to make sure I'm looking my best for the photographs. And people call me the drama queen. Okay. Um, let's look at all the paintings. Ha uh ha. -huh. A beautiful painting of the good smanament. Who's so messy to a ordinary traveller who had been stabbed, stabbed and beaten? The Vogue Bee. Oh. A busy insect. True underdog who lead our country. I can't even say that word, male. Community. It looked like I can access more pages in here. The north wind corner of the room left off the stairs. Aha. A white horse being restrained by a soldier. Aha. 
out women after judgment. It is a great pleasure to see you again, mademoiselle. I've been looking forward to us bumping into one another. Thank you again for your help. I must admit, I feel almost tormented that I was not able to uncover the identity of the thief. All that matters is that it was found. If you'll excuse me, I really should get on. This article isn't going to write itself. I moan, but it's my love. My obsession, you could say. How dare you! That might be something you say where you're from, but not here. Not to me. What a waste of champagne. I thought this was supposed to be a civilized event. Ah, you are right, mademoiselle. I hope you did not spill any champagne on your gown. Don't worry about me. It's only that wretched man that has got some cleaning up to do. His suit and his mouth, by the sounds of it. Do not allow this to ruin your day. I have no intention of allowing such a thing. In fact, we have business to discuss. It would be good to at least schedule a time that suits us both. Monsieur Christiansen and Madame Allen have returned. You are to be the focus of Mademoiselle Farquhar's article. Miss Court Smythe here is the next big name, and she has been kind enough to offer me an ex- Madame Allen has left Sorry. via the exit, Better. but Monsieur Christiansen has not gone with her. Early. Do not allow me to interrupt your work. Ah, you've had more than enough time, detective. So, how did you get on? If one is to discover the truth, one must proceed using the correct methods and cannot be rushed. Monsieur... I think that's her husband. Yeah. Um, no wild horse. The A showing how planets are social system. I think that one. No. Hmm. That one. Why might they be like this particular piece? Ah, uh, banker, married to Betty. Standing in the museum. Such beauties. That's right! Although I shouldn't be surprised. Anyone else? Amanda so wore back. I think I said that right. Um Jasmine do Simon Sam. One. Okay, uh, and the dog. Why might they be? She found herself against the males, oh, but she appeared to well. Yes. That's right! Although I shouldn't be surprised. Anyone else? Uh, not a wife. The wife has been restrained by the soldier. I said that one. Why might they be? Actress Made down a personal 
as an actress. Hmm. That's right! Although I shouldn't be surprised. Anyone else? Ah. Uh, work it be. Why am I? Uh, work hard worker. That's right. Although I shouldn't be anyone else. I think it. Is one in the glasses, yes. Why am I think? Planish. I planish. That's right. Although, anyone else? Mm. Judgment day. Why am I? Just judge people harshly? Yes. That's right. Although, I shouldn't be surprised. Anyone else? Okay, last person. Uh, yeah, that one. Oh, just. Um, yeah. Why might they be? Looking to my eyes. Actors, the one. That's right. All the. That's everyone. Well done. I should have known it'd be no challenge for you. I have faced many a more demanding challenge. Hi. Is he okay? I think something's wrong with him. I think he's <sighs> having a heart attack. He seems stable. Now's the time to get him to the infirmary. Oh, there's no need for that. I'm feeling much better already. Wouldn't it be best to telephone for a real doctor? Monsieur Demir was a field medic. What more of a professional is required? A field medic? Really? I... Th a field medic that has seen people in a lot worse states. Who didn't have the luxury of a proper hospital. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to offend. I'm sorry. If I am being carted off, the unveiling must go on. I will not have this silly old man ruining the gala for everyone. You drive a hard bargain, Monsieur Aylesworth. I'd just like to say a few words. I'm sure you would. Thank you all for coming. Here at the Royal Edward Gallery, we are proud to present such wonderful works by some truly fantastic artists. And with much negotiation and pleading, we have been able to secure a most fabulous and individual piece. Standing here with you, unveiling today's centerpiece, the Penitent Magdalene, really is a special moment for both this museum and me personally. So, without further ado... Someone stole the dead. Nicked her. Hold on. Oh my. Am I missing something here? Things just got interesting. It was. It, it should be. Is this some kind of joke? Evelyn, what's going on here? I... I... Oh, trust you to have no idea. You've really done it this time, girl. 
She's done nothing. It's not her fault. By the grace of God, it's somebody's fault. I am quite sure Mademoiselle Warbeck is as surprised as us all. <gasps> Some... S'il vous plaît, everyone. Remain where you are. Please do not touch a thing. Monsieur Hastings, you saw me lock the door to the restoration room, oui? Of course. I was by your side. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble for this. You are not responsible for the painting's disappearance. But who is? Do not allow any of the guests to leave the main hall. And what are you going to do? <laughs> what is required? One's job. So, um... I don't really know what to say. Monsieur Hastings, this theft may be a new and foreign concept to you. But to Detective Poirot, it is just another case waiting to be solved. What do we do, then? We must get to work. If we can ascertain the thief's point of entry and exit, this may all be resolved momentarily. Chapter 2. The Missing... The Missing Painting. New mind map. I saw the Infedicate... The space and... Possibly point to entry. Oh. You've been knocked over. Perhaps someone knows the f this was by accident. Hmm. It should be two hooks here for uh, holding up the painting. The only one. Oh. A painting hook found near the space of wall. The missing painting. It's careless removal. Huh. A skyline that look as I into the night because someone had been entered. Are you here? Ah. The main door to the room. I tied a ribbon around the door handle of myself. Hmm. This could be handy. The door to connect to the room is locked, with no sign, crime, criminal. <laughs> Craft the opera glasses. Might be some news. The window appears to open with a cold by the but the cobweb across the frame spec is hasn't been for some times. And the way they can get a painting is through the door. The screws that hold the cover of the fence in place are rusted. Working class. Huh. How careless of someone has left these broken glass in the tent Hmm. Maybe looked as well. Uh, we're getting my map.
I must act on thought. Nice, nice everyone. Painter, painter. I think these two. Some would say a lucky guess. I would say a moment of genius. I would have thought that the thief would be more careful when haggling a piece of work. Pipe. Work of art. Painting. Where is the sense in? No, no, spent the fast. Things are beginning to become clearer. The fake clearly have no regard for the painting as they are removing, removing it from the wall and the room. I believe. I have all the evidence required to verse it. Gentlemen, I have called the police and they should arrive shortly. What can I do in the meantime? Do you still hold the master key? Of course. You are the only other person who has had access to it. Très bien. Please keep it close. I believe the thief may be one of the guests here today. Okay, uh, Ellen, Evelyn, she had a key. I have concluded that the food must have been well prepared and edged through the room using the key. The answer was staring me in the face. It appears the room door is a key to our crime. Could man manage to let the wall back be involved? That's great. Monsieur Hastings, I pose this question to you. Is she not a suspect herself? Très bien. Another one. Another one. Mademoiselle Walbeck is likely not our thief. The real thief did not care about the museum and what is hung on its walls. At some time during this evening's festivities, the key was taken from her pocket and used in the restoration room door without her knowledge. If we find the pickpocket, we will uncover our painting thief. First, we must search the restoration room. Mesdames et Messieurs, your attention, please. I am Detective Hercule Poirot of the Belgian Police Force. I was charged with the safety of the penitent Magdalene painting on its voyage to London from Belgium. The missing painting has indeed cut the celebrations of the gala short, and so I consider my duty to be, as yet, incomplete. Still, with your cooperation, I ask that you all remain within the building and I intend to speak with you all individually. If I was the thief, I would certainly be worried after a speech like that. I just wonder if... Maybe I should let you do the questioning. Monsieur Hastings, the painting's safe return also falls upon your shoulders. I know, but I can make myself useful elsewhere, see what clues I can find. When, uh, where on earth is Hastings? A disappearing assistant is the last thing 
Plates. One of a mama. I must nail it down to self beds by possibly yes. And the opportunity will involve one or more guests sleeping and return in the hall. I will acquire and my niece need to use everything to make Okay, I'll zoom in. Um it, where's when? Another success. Yeah, so then zoom out. Magnifique. He's out. Betty and John. Some from the West Wind. One step closer to. Re yeah, then to him out. Oh, out. Hmm. I talk to her. Madame Warbeck, a moment of your time, if you will. Why well, you remember of the evening before the thief? I was rather busy, as you saw. Especially with Irene and her disappearing act. Disappearing act? An artist and a magician. She is a woman of many talents. She was nowhere to be found. Is that better? She was supposed to help me organize everything. Then I saw her throwing her glass of champagne at Mrs. Allen's husband. I was hoping to speak with her after, but I didn't see her again until she was calling down from the balcony following Mr. Aylesworth's collapse. What are you going to tell me about the other guests? Mr. Christiansen, Betty Allen's husband. After the theft, on my way to telephone the police, he was looking for something in the West Wing. Merci, mademoiselle. That is all for now. Okay, well, I speak to the husband. Bonsoir, Monsieur Christiansen. Detective, what a mess you have on your hands. That is certainly one way to describe it. Perhaps you can begin to help me to clear up this mess. I was with Betty most of the evening. She wasn't feeling herself. I'm glad I didn't leave and miss out on all of this. Don't tell me you don't get a little thrill when a new case appears. I do not think about such thrills, Monsieur Christensen. Only justice. All business, no pleasure, I see. I remember seeing the priest. The bishop? Yes, uh, him. He came down the stairs just before Mr. Aylesworth recovered. Maybe a man of the church was all he needed. Tell me the incident with the champagne. Oh, you saw that. I believe every soul in the museum did, or at least held the commotion. So I look like the bad guy, hmm? That's what you get for standing up to a bully, I suppose. A bully? She made some pretty awful comments about Betty and her career. And I wasn't just going to stand by and let her say whatever she wanted. You should lock her up for what she did to me. She's unhinged. Are you married, Detective Poirot? I am not. Then heed my warning. If your wife, whenever she comes along, wants to be left alone, you leave her alone. Uh, Merci, Monsieur. Bonsoir, Mademoiselle. It seems trouble follows you. Detective. So it would appear. And the faster I am able to ask my questions, the faster this trouble will be resolved. I saw Betty leave the main hall and head for the West Wing after the whole champagne debacle. What do you think that was all about? It is not my job to speculate on such private matters. It is to uncover the location of the missing painting and who is responsible. If there is someone who can, it's you, Detective. 
Merci, mademoiselle. Ok. Here we go. And a woman in yellow dress. Mademoiselle, if you have a moment, I wish to ask you some questions. Do you notice anything out of the ordinary? Look around you, detective. Out of the ordinary is the ordinary here. Regarding the guests of the gala, you had the opportunity to speak with them all? I met that delightful Farquhar girl, the art critic. With any luck, her article will finally give me the respect I deserve. Your talk on the balcony went well, I presume. Well, indeed. We weren't up there for long before the poor politician was struck down. What luck for there to be a doctor at the scene. And for us to have a detective here, too. Before I wasted a perfectly good glass of champagne on that man, you mean? That is certainly one way to tell the story. I'd hardly call him trying to push himself upon me as a story. With his wife in the same room? You think a man with that much arrogance cares? Women are nothing more than objects to him. One day he'll learn his lesson. Merci, mademoiselle. Okay. Here's the second of um, the second one. Bonsoir, mademoiselle Babanian. Please, detective. Surely. What you may consider a formality, I consider etiquette. Well, I had the pleasure of meeting the other guests. I feel so fortunate just to be invited myself. Modesty is the color of virtue. Now, mademoiselle, you were saying... Oh, yes. We all gathered for that delightful photograph. Then I spent some time looking at all the van. I did notice the actress and the politician returned to the main hall together. And the other guests? I saw Bishop Mountjoy and the politician, oh forgive me, I forget his name, leave towards the East Wing together. It was much earlier in the night, well before that. You have been as enchanting as always. Respect to her. Ah. That the term for his name. Bonsoir, Your Excellency. I should be addressed as Your Grace. Pardon. I did not mean to offend Your Grace. It's just that in Belgium. Uh... It is quite all right. None of us can choose where we're born. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? Uh, to me, your movement. Uh, if I must. I was talking with Mr. Aylesworth for a time. Some sp Would you care to elaborate? You were no. not present for that conversation, and no. I hardly think it appropriate to involve you now. Although, I will say he was rather keen to see the orrery from the balcony. He left, and I spoke briefly to that actress, but she wandered off looking for her husband. Uh, up the main stairs, I think it was. Who would have thought the reveal of the missing painting would cause a man to take such a turn? Perhaps a warning to us all that such a scare could come at any time. Are you trying to say that is what's going to happen to me? Your Grace has misinterpreted my meaning. But on the matter of where you were at the time... Then maybe you should think before you speak. And I was talking with a young Russian girl. Merci. I thought I would make myself useful and... Uh... I think I found some things of note. Bon. 
I shall go and retrieve them now. You are wise to not touch them and contaminate any evidence. Oh, uh... I didn't think about that. I did only move them to the West Wing. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Betty looking for husband before champagne. Voila. Mm. Disappear before the campaign. The pieces of the puzzle. What's that one? Betty entered the West Wing after the campaign incident. Mm, the evidence oh. suggests. No. What a revelation. Okay, and we go one more. Close enter the main hole oh, after collapse. I should not be surprised by my own. Now, um, I am now aware of the moon dark movements of everyone still present in the museum. But the do those that left the gallant early, we need to speak to them. Okay, we'll go to West Wing. Where does he put it? Over there. Ah. A small hot save lock. Hmm. I would prefer to be sure that the is it owner but the thing are not always as straightforward. Ah. The back of the cover of the bug is yeah locked. Mansell man. Must must keep the key closed. Um. Hmm. Simple, simple. The lid of the sniffles. Sniff box, sniff box, save like a woman's left shoe. Oh. Cocaine, one of the day guess of yours as a second guys. Uh -huh. Okay, we can't go upstairs. Small key. Mm -hmm. There must be a pair of those on this key. Let's hide the diary. Yeah, no, we not. Perhaps the key I found might be some use. The diary. Could be a scary place that holds one thought, and I would not usually allow myself to read it. 
upgrade. And this, let's just skip that one. Hmm. And go for there. Huh. The door to West Room. Yeah, the room. Okay, I'm going to go to the hall. Hmm. Hmm. Can I speak to Aidens? What can I do? Hmm. I believe Alan is my bed Dana. That's all well. That would never be even. Yeah. Uh, Okay. I'm not sure what I can. S Merci. Hmm. I speak to L Elephant M. Evelyn. Evelyn. If it will help retrieve the painting, of course. I have... Mademoiselle, the key? I'm sorry. You said it yourself. I think I should just hold on to it. I was not expecting Mademoiselle Warbeck's hesitation. Mademoiselle Warbeck, I really must insist on access to the restoration room. I find your reluctance to oblige a little uh, troubling, Mademoiselle. Now listen. I am the curator of this museum, and I... Miss Warbeck, will you let the man in? I, for one, would like to get to the bottom of this tonight. Please, Evelyn, let's not drag this on all night. Evelyn Warbeck? That's me. Detective Inspector Harbwick. I was told a painting's been half-inched. Yes, it's... Stolen. Detective Hercule Poirot of the Belgian police, seconded by the Musée Royaux des Beaux-Arts de Belgique and Lloyds of London, to escort the penitent Magdalene here. How do you do, Detective Inspector Hardwick? Well, thank you for that introduction, Mr. Poirot, but we won't be needing your help this evening. But you see, not only do I have a considerable personal stake in this matter, I also possess undoubtedly the finest investigatory mind in all of Belgium. I'm sure Belgium thinks you're the bee's knees, but we'll be just fine and then. I must insist, Inspector. Bloody hell. I don't have time for this. Will someone try and get through to this man before he does my head in? Dear Mr. Poirot, I know you meant well, but perhaps now is not the time to push the Inspector's buttons. Mm. Très bien. Monsieur Hastings, the fate of the penitent Magdalene lies in our hands. And Miss Warbeck's career, by the sound of it. Then we shall waste no time. We have spoken with a number of the guests from the gala, but there still remains those who are absent. They may be able to offer a clue as to the thief's identity. Then let's go and find them. <laughs> Chapter three. The it it begins.
I not Guaro, anything. over here. I heard about the painting. Trouble just seems to follow you. If there's anything I can do to help. I am looking for Madame Allen. Would you know where I could find her? If she's not on stage already or rehearsing, she'll be in her dressing room. That alleyway will take you to the back door. Uh, give me a second. Time for the time to start. Oh, this isn't quite what I was expecting from a famous star like Betty Allen. A famous star that is not on stage, nor in her dressing room. You don't think something could have happened to her? Combining the state of the room and her being absent, I fear something sinister may indeed be afoot. No, my map. Best thief in the machine of Nanda Wapri in Alden Treasure Room. I wonder if both events are, could be related. Okay, let's just look around. Aha! Uh -huh. Robin shoulders with the stars. Oh. Oh, they all look very happy together. These voting might have not been damaged. Huh. In, in the middle of the room. Hmm. Other frames. Hmm. A lady very show with fashions with half glass embedded in the heel. Huh. Seven years by luck. I hope the culprit is not superstitious. I think I said that right. Ah. Aha. So it's a beautiful piece of jewelry. Remain untouched. Oh. Attack with John Black Specky. Oh. Amount of money has been overlooked. Hmm. No sign sign of temper 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 with the market no the code or crack the safe. Huh. The save was left wide open, perhaps the feed. And we find what they're looking for and key sentence elsewhere. They have a main item that one would expect to be if the thief first target. If he know the code or is a master at a cracking safe. The thief left the safe open, perhaps in a hurry. The suspect too hasty. He soon ate. Let's speak to him. What do you need? What could. Mm, three things missing. What can I do for you? Go yeah, back to this exit. Merci. Uh, go to my map. Hot on the culprit's heels. The legacy made it made all of them. And a weapon to break mirrors. Break the mirror. Hmm. Uh, save my open. We've no decode. Okay. 
Come, my little grey cells. I must take a different approach. This will not get me any. Logical thinking shut. The lady say is some enough to break the glass. What a revelation! The, the damage to Alan belonging was burned by the same person. Is there something? Hmm. I should consider. I cannot see the logic. Okay. One step closer to reveal. There must be a reason why the first. These both as well was target. What do you need? What can Okay. How do we know it wasn't random? The fact that there are valuable items remaining in the safe leads me to believe that the thief was looking for something specifically. Meaning they had previous knowledge of the contents of Madame Allen's safe. In effect, they must know Madame Allen herself. Okay. What do you need? Why, Mrs. Allen? Okay. Uh, the two photos. No. Madame Allen was behind the mess that lies before us. Filled with rage, she... What do you think you're doing in here? Security! Uh, pardon, Madame Allen. I do not wish to cause any alarm. I am Detective Poirot. Yeah, I remember you. Doesn't give you the right to be snooping in here. Snooping, no. Waiting patiently, oui. You can wait outside. I'll talk to you there. Well, go on then, shoot! I am sure Alan is not uh, even as a subject. Okay, that's great. Okay. 
Ah, Madame Allen. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Look, let's just get on with this, shall we? I promise not to take up too much of your valuable time. What do you remember, Adagala? Well, thanks to Johan walking off, I got stuck talking, a term I use loosely, with Mr. Aylesworth and the all-important bishop as he likes to consider himself. Where did your husband go? Beats me. But when I saw him next, he was being attacked by that crazy artist. You must have seen it. I did. And while I do not condone such behavior... If you are going to defend that woman's actions against my husband, I'll stop you there. Is that unusual on your dress? Not really any of your business, is it? I would not forgive myself if something improper had happened and I had not addressed it. You've got nothing to worry about. I'm an emotional woman. Let's just leave it at that, shall we? You left the girl out early? I thought it was best to just get myself out of there. He may have bitten his tongue, but if I get my hands on her... Your husband mentioned you were feeling under the weather, no? Me? No. Ah, je vois. I've heard the Brits like that stuff. Not for me, though. Sorry. You have been most helpful. What do you need? Merci. Hmm. Might go back to girl. The museum. Huh. There's no reason to go there now. Um. Yeah, go. I told you last time you made a mess of things that if anything else was to happen, I... So, you are blaming me for the painting going missing. Can I fold? I have poured my heart and my soul into... Balvin. Perhaps this is a conversation that should be had behind closed doors. This conversation will happen where and when I want it to. What Detective Poirot means is maybe somewhere a little less public would be a better place to have it. I am well aware of what your foreign friend was implying, and I shall give you exactly the same answer. Let us not say anything that one would later regret. A moment to breathe for everyone, perhaps. You do as much breathing as you want. As long as you find that painting. I don't like him. May I speak to her? Mademoiselle, may I request a minute of your time? What can I do for you? Can you not see that we're busy? Mademoiselle, Oops. may I re What can I do? <laughs> Your Grace, there are matters we really must discuss. You do understand my time is valuable, don't you? Merci, Your Grace. Hmm. Can I go off these things? Yeah. I don't think you quite understand the severity of the situation, Detective Inspector. I'm well aware, and I'll conduct my investigation how I see fit. That just isn't good enough. How would you feel if... Uh, who am I kidding? You could never afford something like that. 
I can assure you Detective Inspector Hardwick and his men will be doing all they can to find your missing painting. <laughs> now you have some officer from another country entirely fighting your battles for you? I speak on behalf of no one but myself, monsieur. And I didn't ask you. Hardwick, get it found. Right you are. Oh, I speak to him now. Will you allow some officer a moment of your time? I'm a very busy man. And then I shall keep my question short. Why do you record at Optiker? <laughs> I'd say the heart attack was the most memorable part of the day. Quite understandable. But before that? I was talking to the bishop, or rather being talked at. Uh, he doesn't see it, but he gets quite heated. Um, that's the last thing I remember. I did. That man just wants someone to listen to his incessant ramblings. I just couldn't stand there and listen to him anymore. I decided to walk away and see the orrery from above. Then I met that young lady. Betty Allen. You two spoke? Briefly, but she was looking for her husband, so I think uh, her mind was elsewhere. I will not take up any more. I speak to David. If you want to deal with him, fine by me. Okay. I'll go back to him. In a hole. In a hole. I hope you're getting heated. Who said that? They are the words of Monsieur Ellsworth. Oh, the man is in politics. He should know what heated looks like. Oh, maybe I was a little forceful. There was no one else around. How was I to know he was having a heart attack when he clutched his chest? It could have been anything. And when I saw he was in trouble, I went to get help. I suppose I got lost finding my way back. I do not believe Bishop Mountjoy was the instigator of Monsieur Ellsworth's heart attack, but it appears he does. He is quite rigorously trying to convince himself he is not to blame. Merci, Your Grace. I move over there, we can't speak over to her. What can I do for you? He knows just how to push. He knows what this museum means to me. That is clear to us all. He thinks he can say and do what he wants because of his position. But if he thinks he can get rid of me that easily, this museum is my life. And if anyone, including him, tries to do anything to jeopardize that, I won't be held responsible for my actions. I'm sorry. The detective inspector was quite adamant I wasn't to allow anyone in. Detective Hercule Poirot is not just any man, mademoiselle. And modest to boot. I suppose it can't hurt. Follow me. There you go. The key. It is in a far better condition than yesterday. It was looking grubby and covered in rust, so I cleaned it. Is that... If you find anything else that may be of importance to the investigation, I ask that you leave it as you found it. More ev evidence that has been tapped with it as for no one wished the case to be so. The key... Smell the in with bags claims of cleaning of the rust. The rust must be been in up some some time dive. 
to welcome you now. Oh. Perhaps he's already using it on someone else, paint perhaps. I also found evidence that even confirmed. Okay, let's go in. Ah. If I. Oh. Oh. Master Q, you should work near here. Oh. And never mind that. Hasting and I should demand my that if this room was accessed by the faith. Aha. It will take us some strength to lift this. A small smear of blue paint, careless. Mm hmm. Smell of blue ye yellow paint. Understand what works is is done here. Huh. So discovered over. Uh -huh. A book of oil and had a maid. If I know I'll turn to read it. Oh. Pair of soft scissors. Oh. The paint. The picture is gone clear. And the paint is okay. Hmm. Um, little wooden stick with a cotton glue on the end. We have to a homemade tool removing the paint. Hmm. Nothing out of ordinary. Huh. Impossible to see inside. Nanki is thinking so always without be fair, be fair. Huh. The smell of what I hope is early green paint. Small wooden instead of cotton the fair. I got to your one. Can we? Yes, we can. Mm -hmm. Nothing inside. Hmm. Yeah, try this one. Aha. Ah. Not very ordinary. Oh. Impossible to see inside. A stick stained blue, even evidence that will was blue paint on the key. But did a thief get the paint on the key before the entry or afterwards? Hmm. 
Okay. Nothing I saw. Green paint. Okay, it was green, yellow paint. Pink paint. Something just a. Order and method. That is the. Come now. Things are beginning to become. Okay, use in the basement after it been dropping the paint. Okay. The pieces of the puzzle are. It's lucky that the feet didn't notice the paint on the key straight away. And my. I've got some on the hands. Uh, Another success. I never doubted myself. The V must move the box. Gain access. I must take a different approach if I uh, come, my little Graysel. Where is the sense? Oh, okay. When the thief entered this room from the west wing, there was no paint on the key. We know this because there was no paint on the key when they used it on the door to the gallery. But there is paint on the key when the thief locks the west wing door after stealing the painting. The key got covered in paint in this room. We, oui. And only after the painting was stolen. So, what happened in between locking the door to the gallery and leaving this room to lock the west wing door? The picture is becoming clearer. And the paint is the key. The thief unlocked the door from the west wing into this room. Unlocked the door to the gallery and stole the painting. They then returned, whereupon they laid the painting on the desk. The thief locked the door and returned to the painting. But then, an accident. They dropped the key into the palette of paint. How can you be so sure? We know because the paint palette was the only source of blue paint in the room that the key could have dropped in. But why put the painting on this table, where items may be knocked or where they may be hurled? Perhaps the answer is before me on the desk. Okay, we'll go back to the desk. Ah. Oh. The key drop here. I can imagine about an accident. Hmm. I doubt that if you have time to read. Oh. I fear that our fee might maybe use these tables to cut the painting from the plane. That's a fine place to help me with this task. Good time, yep. What do you need? What? Oh, yeah. How can we know if what we did ever cut in the painting off when the plane? Uh, move the box. The thief used the box over there for something after cutting the painting from the frame. Push it or move it into better position, perhaps. What can I do for you? Merci. And that box be moved. Ah. Uh -huh. hmm. 
Can't fear after firm. That is a thing after painting. That has been on. Yes. When some painting will be removed, you'll be left here. I suppose the police, re police are looking for a painting, not a frame. Mm -hmm. But who took it? Gentlemen, have you seen Miss Babanyan? She wanted to speak with me after the bishop was finished chewing my ear off. But it's... I'm afraid not. Can't have been that important then. I will recall Hastings telling me he saw acting near the west wing, perhaps. Sadly, the painting remained missing, but it looks as a for the feed access to the room. Now that one's created. West wind. West wind. I think over here. Here we go. Mm -hmm. A vent near the west wind. In the west wind. It appears there's something lost inside. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Speak the woman in yellow. Hello, who's that? Bonjour, Madame. You're not English. Where are you from? What are you doing here? Madame, I am Detective Hercule Poirot of the Kingdom of Belgium's police force. So what? I was hoping to speak with a neighbor of yours. Mademoiselle... She's not him? Are you waiting for her? Do you know how long she... You can give her this. I tell her I did what I could with it. I will be sure to do that. Adieu, madame. What's the gathers? Oh, there. Given by a woman in the Pullman Hill. Oh, dear. It's busy. I'll just hang this. Just hang on the door. I shall return later when see home. There are answers I require. Can we look at them? Ha ha. Ha. of paint on that. I have seen this color before somewhere. I believe. We have our thief. I must speak with Detective Harwick and inform inform him of my findings before I have the chance to flee the country. See me the painting. Oh. Curve needle. Semi needle. Okay, we'll go back to the machine.
and let's see if we can use that needle to get that whatever it is in the vent. Gentlemen, have you seen Miss Baban? I'm a f can't. The care from Needle is a perfect, perfect for hooking into the item and can pull out a wing. A most, most puzzling thing to find here. Mm -mm. I feel like I'm going to belong to Betty. I'll go back to her speak to her again. You're just full of questions. Where did you get that? It was found in a vent at the museum. Perhaps the very last thing I expected to find. Yes. Well, thank you. I knew I had lost it somewhere. A clearly valuable ring has just been returned to Madame. And she acts as though it means nothing to her. And I would not describe throwing a ring at one's husband resulting in it being stuck in a vent as a case of losing it. It is clear Madame Allen felt no sickness at the gala, rather anger. In a moment of rage, she threw her ring at her husband before exiting the museum, and having seen the damage that she has caused in her own dressing room, one can conclude that it was the state of her marriage that allowed her emotions to get the better of her and act so rashly. You have been most helpful. The detective inspector will now be able to see as plain as day that Mademoiselle Kurt Smythe is the guilty party. Now to find him. With the other remaining guests' movements all accounted for, she was the only one capable of making haste with the painting. Okay, we'll go back to the museum. <laughs> Uh, I get back to the stay of that. Ah, detective, you're here. Look and you shall find. How may I be of assistance? Oh, well. I've had the photographs from the garden developed. I forgot about that. That's good thinking, Miss Farquhar. Oui, very kind, mademoiselle. Mm. There she is, but I'm um, taking the key. Uh, the final piece of evidence. There's no way to check it can ignore our findings. A clear image of pickpocketing the key to the room from walk back, cool red-handed. There is nothing left for us to do but to take our findings to Detective Inspector Hardwick. Do you think he'll listen? It is his duty as a high-ranking officer of the law. We shall not be ignored. We have done all but arrest Mademoiselle Court Smythe for him. If it is the accolade that he desires, he may have it. I was thinking that while you were speaking with Miss Court Smythe, I could try and find Mr. Christensen at their home. It would certainly be more efficient. An excellent idea. Oh, oh, 
him with a funny accent. He was here earlier asking the same questions. All I want is a bit of peace. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. We are... Monsieur Hastings, your assistance is required immediately. Good Lord, Poirot, that's a lot of smoke. And now you are up to speed with the situation. I have evaluated the position we find. If you're going to use the fire extinguisher, now would be the time. Très bien. That's it. One more should do it. Detective Inspector, it is imperative we search the crime scene as soon as possible. You mean my crime scene? If I may, I can count on one hand how many crime scenes I have seen in my life, and although they are somewhere I don't wish to spend too much time, as the representative of Lloyd's of London Bank, it is my responsibility to handle all matters regarding the now stolen painting. A weak attempt, but I've got more on my plate than dealing with some paper pusher getting his knickers in a twist. You've got until I return to do whatever it is you need to do. And if I find one thing out of place... You may question my authority in this case, but I will not have my professionalism questioned. Whatever you say. Chapter 4, The Power Mount. Never mind that. Um, oh, the sign father. Mm hmm. There might be, might not be the finest of pain, but I might have most of the guests at the gala were and were. There would these will have me to be my search of the department. Smell of turn break temp. Yeah, gonna buckle. Uh -huh. Login, then three sign. So being here to up night. Locked. Another book, hmm. say login, logins, maybe. Uh, Apply counting with 50 notes. Another tries. Once a set, minus out. Lock it away. Hmm. Okay. I use this. May uh -huh. I man sales. Or they all, not all of them appear. To be in a county for we have pie sales and we could see the bad finance management unless there is something to see trying to remain hidden Just look stage. Oh. Did hmm. send the gems of remaining. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. Luckily, is used to hold the candle. Huh. This must be 
If you listen to just the joy in the fire, there's also a pin with one of the links. Mama? Oh. Chevy Kabar, Kabada, Tobacco. Oh, yes, by this fruity almonds. Um, I've got it. It appears that the fire spreads more vividly to the right of the fire. Completely really imagine the cattle on the right. Ah. Huh. Cigarettes. Aha. Someone has a beer by number of Dutch. Stop. Hmm. A soap. Cool. Return. Okay, we'll look at the body. Mm-hmm. Oh. Now, officer son, that's a super was suffocated by the smoke. Hmm. Could see for sleep in this position. No officers that she was burned by the fire. Hmm. I would expect nothing less from a walking working artist. From analyzing the victim's body, I can conclude that the cause of death was not dead by the flames. Not by the flames. Then what? That is what we are yet to determine. Oh. Huh. Close your bandit tail photograph of the painter. Take before it took it place in the museum. Grab the strange item that we found on the floor. Must be drug or poisoned. Ah. But be she, be she, Jim. The glass belongs to the woman. Oh. Oh. That is from the season two. Um, I would miss Peyton. Ah. The con- canvas edge show that the- this Peyton is not to cause out on the pain. Mm-hmm. There's a quick tale of where the fire was intent to burn. Judging the pattern and the location of the marks. Didn't you speak with her neighbor before? Might she be able to help? Okay, let's I speak to her and
Is it that copper again? What do you want? I was hoping to ask you some questions regarding the fire. May I ask... You aren't coming in. You can get that into your head now. Merci, Madame Colcham. She hardly had any visitors, but yesterday it was like she had a sign-up offering out free ale. If you would be so kind as to talk us through the events as you remember them. Well, I saw her leaving with a couple of paintings under her arm. Then there was that Porsche-looking chap. I heard him before I saw. Next came the professional-looking fella. He's got some money in those pockets, that's for sure. I saw him leaving with a painting, too. Oh, and the argument with another man? I couldn't hear what it was all about, but he had a set of lungs on him. You are doing a wonderful job, Madame Colcham. You can keep the patronizing tone to yourself. She must have turned her radio up to disguise what they were saying, but I tell you this, I'd rather have listened to them than that racket. It wasn't long before he was storming down the stairs. I don't think he'd heard the expression light-footed before. Would you be able to remember any other details of the gentleman? Through this people, you can barely tell who's man and woman. I didn't hear her leave, but when I heard that door downstairs slam, I knew it was her. I opened my door and gave her what for. And you know what she did? She waved me off, bottle of bubbles in hand. Ranting about being dry, she looked two sheets to the wind, if you ask me. Only after did she turn the radio down. I wasn't going to waste the peace and quiet, and I got ready for bed. I was getting right into the exciting bit of my book. Perkins' first one, you know. I do like Perkins. Well, that's when I first smelt the smoke coming from the hall. And then you lot showed up. Merci, madame. You have been most accommodating. Oh, and I found this in the garden. It's obviously hers. I was going to put it to her letterbox, but... Well, you know. The cock from a champagne bottle. It would not be a giant leap to assume this came from Mademoiselle Cortsmythe's apartment. A smell lingers on the cock. Bitter almonds. Merci, Madame Colcham. I go back back to the apartment. And it is my map. Come now. Uh, I wonder if it's... No, I don't need to go here. The evidence suggests something. Mm -mm. Logical thinking okay. shall always... Why was she feeling to believe better more when she already... Buggles in our apartment. We have sales. Tobacco. Something just. Magnifique. The dog ends in the archway, but she smells Jerry, tobacco, does he keep keys in the ladies' shoe sniff box?
This will not get me any... I cannot see the logic in this. Okay. Okay. Is there something at... I should not be surprised by my own skill. The star of the fire was not acting. It was set to retain to damage and kill. I'm gonna speak to Hastings. Where is it? There it is. Mr. Hastings, you're of course. Almonds? I've never had champagne tasted, tasted of almonds. One would hope or not. Mademoiselle's list may hold the missing clue we require. It wasn't an accident. It was set on purpose, using turpentine to douse any evidence of them being there, and the forgery. An almost perfect execution, had we not arrived in time before the evidence had bound the way. But why try and get rid of the necklace? Spoken like a true detective. Let us get back to the... we go back to the body. Okay, yes. The smell of almonds remains on the breath. So let's see what poisoned. Where's that air right? That one. Voila. Was a piece with the champagne table and the poison. One more. Spy with. Uh, which one? Oh, that's wild, I guess. What do you need? I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Take your time. Consider what we have seen and learnt of Mademoiselle Kotzmaid's time here yesterday. Okay, firstly, we know that she had a number of visitors and an argument with one of them. Among these visitors, one left with a painting, perhaps another forgery. Yeah. Très bien. Irene wasn't drinking alone, and whoever she was drinking with likely poisoned her. The killer used a syringe to inject a liquid form of the poison through the cork and into the bottle. Potassium cyanide. Traces of the compound can be found in nature, but dangerous levels, such as those present, can be detected by its notable almond smell. And she fell victim shortly after in her chair. What can I do? Uh, how do we know? Wasn't overcome by the fire. No, no sign of burning. There. From analyzing the victim's body. I can conclude that the cause of death was not dead by the flames. Not by the flames? Then what? That is what we are yet to determine. What can I do for you? Uh, 
How do we know it's not stored a painting? Gavin, not cut out of fame. Mr. Porro, you are a genius. What can I do for you? How do we know Miss Craig of Forgery? Um, That would never have even occurred to me. I've got a lot to learn. What can I do for you? Sniff box. Who's a cocaine sniff box lottery? Uh, there's who? Yeah. The sniff box probably belongs to. How do we know who was Toby Bucko and the Lady Sue? That would never have even occurred to me. I've got a lot to learn. What can I do for you? Let us get back to the scene. Okay. I must act on thought. There was someone. Then painting was all the paintings. Order and method. Okay. I should consider this. Okay. Hot on the culprit. So, I say loggers and um, moving movements of the day out of the gallop. He stole two uh, sold oh uh, sold two of her patents. Mm, no, the answer was staring me in the face. The painting along with yes. No, uh, no, okay, that's it. What do you need? Of course, the painting. Irene had made forgeries of the penitent Magdalene painting. I was likely selling them for a pretty penny, I might add. What can I do for you? Let us get... What do you need? What are you going to tell him? The truth. He may hope for a simple and somewhat convenient version of events, but he cannot ignore the facts that we shall present. My crime scene still intact? Of course, Detective Inspector. There is something that... There's nothing more to say. Pardon, Detective Inspector. The truth is that Mademoiselle Irene Court Smythe was murdered. Right you are. I'll be sure to make a note. But you won't. Excuse me? Are you forgetting who you're talking to? He is well aware of your authority and your capability of coming to the same conclusion. Well... My men have been in, as have I, and I've concluded that the mademoiselle, as you so elegantly called her, made off with the painting and decided to have a few drinks to celebrate. She passed out drunk in the chair, candle still lit, and the place went up like a match. Detective Inspector, s'il vous plaît. It is really not that simple. Who are you calling simple? He's not calling you simple, he's saying that isn't how it happened. How can you ignore the bottle of champagne that had been tampered with? The smell of poison on the cork. You're both experts in poison now, are you? I do not wish to stand here and argue credentials. Mademoiselle Cotsmide was killed, not by the fire that burned through her home, but at the hands of another. Her drink, laced with potassium cyanide. Quite the imagination you two have. Look, we can show... No. We shall leave the detective inspector to discover the truth for himself. 
Detective, adieu. Monsieur Hastings, you must learn which battles are worth the fight. Besides, we have no time to stand squabbling with him. We have... Never know the Dalpatian is not the only way. Not their sense of relief seeing that is that's complete. That was quite a night. I feel exhilarated, yet exhausted. Triumphant at what we have discovered. But mournful for Miss Cold Smythe. It is being able to control those emotions and still see the bigger picture that separates the best detectives from those that merely lack the thought of such responsibility. So do you think it must have been one of the guests at the gala? An accomplice disguised as a guest turned murderer. A master criminal they may appear to be, but they have never crossed paths with Belgium's greatest detective. I think I just felt a chill. Now we must speak with the guests of the gala again, as well as find Monsieur Christiansen, who has continued to evade my questions. Okay, we we'll continue with chapter five in the next one. I know who killed her, and he's got a real pattern. So then, I'll see you. See you next time.